If you're interested in buying Fallout 76 caps, weapons or items, check out easympc.com and use my code DTDG for 5% off via the link in the description. Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Today I want to talk about the Fortifying Atlas community event. Now if you've been subscribed to me and been watching along with all my videos, I have been covering each and every challenge, talking about each um, like reward that you get and every way of getting every material that they've put out a challenge for. In this video I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of it, how it could be better in the future if they do bring back an event like this one, and the little bits and bobs it could add in to make it more enjoyable and try and get more people involved. If you enjoy this video make sure to hit that like button and if you want to see more Fallout 76 videos then make sure to subscribe. So Fortifying Atlas started on the August the 4th and it lasted up until September the 10th. We did have a big like break in between it where you had this kind of like breathing period to enjoy meat week and stuff. And then it returned back at the end of August and we had another four challenges then. Like I said earlier, I covered each and every single challenge that they added in. How to get concrete, wood, all of the others. And you know what, it did really well for me to be fair and a lot of people got involved. But in the comments as well, there was a lot of people saying that it was fake and it was this and Bethesda's fixing it all, it's a waste of time, they don't want to help the Brotherhood. Lots of different thoughts on it, so that's why I want to make this little review on it and what could change in the future. All round, I thought it was a bit of fun. I thought it was quite enjoyable to get everyone to come together to do this thing. There was a lot of downsides though. But all round, I thought it was a good idea by Bethesda to get everyone to come together to help rebuild the fortifying Atlas location and kind of get involved with the DLC. Like, if we do it, then all of a sudden we get the DLC. Obviously, we're going to get the DLC anyways, but the thought that the community was helping bring the DLC to the game, was it was a nice idea and a nice touch. On the downside, they asked for a lot of materials. Like the last one that's ending today, don't ask me if we completed it or not, we won't find out till maybe tomorrow, but that's another thing I'm going to talk about later on in the video. The last challenge they asked for was like 250 million glass, which just seemed obscene. I did a video covering how to get glass in the best locations for it, and it was just, it was tough. Like you could probably farm like a thousand glass a day if you were lucky. But that's like going around all the locations, going around some random locations as well, just picking up all of the glass bottles and stuff that you can find. It it was a bit of a nightmare, and the fact that I asked for 250 was excessive. So then, on to the question, was Fortifying Atlas fixed? You know, well, we didn't feel a single event. We were going to feel the concrete one, and I feel like the concrete one kind of like opened up everyone's eyes. Like... The concrete one asked for, I think it was 150 million concrete, and we didn't get anywhere near that. We got like 7 million in a day, and then they were like, oh shit, we need to drop this. So they dropped the like parameters down, right down, and I think we only need to donate like 15 million in total by the end of it. Obviously that got done, but no one wanted to get rid of the concrete. It's a valuable resource, and no one wants to get rid of it, so... It was a bit of an odd one, but it was a bit easier to farm than some of the others that are covered. After that though, it seemed like we didn't have any problems or issues with any of the others. They kind of just seemed to jump up on their own. There was no issues, which was really strange considering some of them like cork and then the glass one. You kind of think, hang on a minute, how have we got so much of this and how is so much getting donated? Considering a lot of the community is like, ah, I'm not donating, I can't be bothered. The rewards are terrible stuff like that so it's a bit of an odd one I, no one knows for sure if it was fixed or anything but it definitely kind of looked like that in certain areas like i say though like another thing to like back it up was the fact that people just didn't want to get involved yes there was a lot of people watching like my videos and stuff on it and saying oh brilliant thanks for the help i'm gonna go farm it now which is brilliant that's what i wanted to do by it i want to help people out and get the community together to get involved and enjoy it but then also, like I said, in the comments, there's a lot of people going, ah, don't donate, let's just watch Bethesda auto-completed for us, or it's fixed anyways, don't waste your resources and stuff like that. Which, you know, it's it's a point. A lot of other people didn't want to get involved because of the daft bloody watered-down present gift that we got. Them things were terrible. We got, like, you got them for 250 materials and you got one box to open and each box would just give you a load of crap it would be booze wine bottled beer bourbon 
whatever you fancy, and then maybe a couple of stim packs and stuff. It was said that they were meant to drop plans, but I very rarely got plans when I was donating materials. So I don't know what the case with that was, and I agree with the fact that when people pointed out to say these are watered down holiday presents, which they really were. Now, although the rewards were terrible, it was all about kind of like the end game result. It was like, at the end of it, we got new camp items, we got a new outfit, we got double score, the Pavia seal, the return of meat week. That's what it was all for. And I feel like people were just overlooking that and going straight in like, I want instant rewards right now. And people weren't thinking, you know what, these free rewards are actually really good. Which they were, like people enjoyed meat week. I know a lot of people, including myself, are kind of like, Ah, uh, we've done meet we seven times or something now. It's can we not get something new, something fresh and like something exciting? And to be fair, meet week was weird. It was really bugged when it came back this time round. The actual um like cook off thing, that thing lasted like the matter of thirty seconds. As soon as you spawn in, if everyone was on a certain thing, it would just like bang. It was already like pretty much auto completed. So it'd be done like fifteen seconds. Depending on what server you want, of course. It is getting annoying though how each event has pretty much the same rewards. Like, I would like to see us get, like, say, a script or experience bonuses, kind of like a lunchbox. When you open that up, you get a 25% well rested bonus. Why can't you kind of get that? Like, you donate some materials and you get an XP bonus. This will get people doing it and getting involved because they think, you know what, I'm going to do this because if I donate a thousand materials, I'm going to get twice the amount of XP for an hour. And it's getting people involved. It's gonna make it more entertaining for people. Maybe they're not gonna enjoy actually donating the materials and farming the materials, but they'll be really happy for the double XP. Another thing we could have got was possibly the chance to get legendaries or actually get new plans. What if they brought out a couple of brotherhood bits and bobs and you could earn the plans to get them? Kind of like the Mole Miner event, we got that caravan circus thing and the gorillas and stuff why can't they just bring in a couple of little things like that that would have been really good so now i want to say how can this be better in the future now i've read through a lot of your guys comments in the videos that i made on fortifying atlas and a lot of you have made some really really good points and how you thought this could have been a lot better if they did just little changes or added in little things so the first one I would say is, instead of donate materials, why could we not say kill so many enemies? Yes, I understand the material side of it kind of fitted in with the fact that they were rebuilding the Atlas Observatory. Fair enough, makes sense and stuff. But at the same time, it would be a lot more enjoyable if it was like, kill 100 million Scorched, or kill more miners, or whatever, kill robots, anything. Like, it would be really good. It would certainly be a lot more enjoyable than going and farming cork. Another thing which I would love to say if this came out again would be we need a better way of tracking how many resources were donated. This would show that like it was actually accurate and not made up. And it would also just be more entertaining. You could go in say on your home screen if it said so many such and such as have been donated. They can do this. Like... Back in the day when I used to play Call of Duty a lot, they used to be like, you'd log on and it would be going around the bottom of the screen or something. I can't remember which Call of Duty it was, but one of them was like, so many um, Semtexes had blown up or so many kill streaks had been used. And it was really good. It was a cool little feature. And I feel like they should do that with here. It should be like, you go log on to the main screen and it's got in the right hand corner where it's got the news article thing or the news headlight, highlight, whatever you want to call it. And imagine if it said there, 27.3 million donated out of 100 million. And every time you went on the home screen, it would be updated and it kept track. It'd be good because you'd know exactly when you'd need to stop or whether you should need to go and get involved. It'd be really, really good. There was people at one point, I changed the titles of the videos and I made them a bit like kind of clickbaity, but in a good way. It wasn't like a way where I was misleading or anything like that. I was just putting the titles in a way which would attract more people because some of the videos weren't getting many views and it was showing that people weren't getting involved and stuff. So I had to change it up. And I made the one about the robot and how to get the free Protectron. And that one, I had people in the comments saying, I didn't even know this event was live. I didn't, I've never even heard of it. Like, since when has this been a thing? And that just shows that them little highlights in the top right screen, they need change and they need more done to them to be more active and get people actually knowing what's going on. Not everyone follows Bethesda or Fallout on Twitter. 
or Facebook or wherever, they just come on, they play the game, they enjoy playing the game. So if they don't see a full on update on the screen, then they need a they need to do something about it to get more people involved. Another thing which was really kind of frustrating was the rewards. They never ever told us when the rewards would be in. Maybe they would have put it up the day they released it into the item shop, I'm not sure. But I feel like they should have had a thing up saying, if you complete this, this reward will be in the item shop from this date to this date. And on top of that as well, when the items went into the item shop, they were only in there for a couple of days. And for that reason, like a lot of people missed out on them. I've had people in the comments saying they missed out on the Protectron. They didn't get, they didn't get like enough time to get on there. Yeah, yes, I know some people would be like, oh, but you had three days to do it. Like, there's no excuse. Some people might have been away. They might have been away working. They might have been away on holiday. They might have been just busy with real life stuff and not had the time. You you don't know this, so you can't judge the fact that someone didn't manage to get on. It's not their fault if they didn't have time. But it would just be really good if they could add in an update or some kind of shout out to say congratulations everyone but this like in the game not on twitter obviously do it on twitter as well for all of us that follow them on twitter but for those that just play on the game they need something on the game itself to say right you've completed this now you're going to have this in the atom shop in two days time it's going to be active for a week something like that it would just be a lot better and then finally i want to say we need better rewards I know I touched on this earlier about the lunchbox kind of effect where you get well-rested bonus for donating. We do need it though. We need better stuff. Yes, you get caps. Everyone needs caps and stuff, but caps are irrelevant in this game right now. They've set the target at, wait, not target, but limit at 20, uh, 30,000 caps. And that has been the same now for as long as I remember. Like it's been 30,000 caps limit for so long. It needs increasing. Daily script needs increasing. Daily gold needs increasing. Just everything needs increasing. It's too little. Like, you can jump on, do your script, do your gold, do everything in the matter of a couple hours, and then that's it, you're done. If you got more, then it would take more time and it would be more enjoyable. I get so many people saying, oh, well, I've logged on today, I've done me Raider and Settler daily, and I've done me script, and I've done me gold, and I've did it all in an hour and a half, now I don't know what to do. We need that improvement. Come on, Bethesda. These are just my thoughts, so let me know in the comments, guys. Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think whatever? Like, I don't know. Do you? Did you enjoy the Fortify and Atlas challenge? I personally did, but like I say, there are so many things that need improvement for the next one to do. We know for a fact, to be fair, this is going to be another thing. They like to bring out the same challenges over and over, just with ever so slight little tweaks. But we need them to kind of listen to us. So go shout bloody... Whatever, I don't know what the words are, but go and try and get their attention somehow and say, look, this is what we want. I don't know, maybe give this video a share and get some other people talking. Who knows? But yeah, these are my thoughts. If you agree, let me know. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed. And if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I will catch you all next time. Bye bye.